there is a part in the in Apollo's arrow where you answer one of the great unknowns of the last uh, year, which is um, what caused the great toilet paper shortage of 2020. <laughs> this is what everyone wants to know. And you have an answer. Yes, yes. The um, there are certain things, certain things which the demand for which rises during times of plague. Um, so for example, the demand for ventilators, we needed more ventilators or we needed more um, sanitizer, hand sanitizer. So the shortage of ventilators or the shortage of sanitizer makes sense because all of a sudden the demand for that has gone way up. But, and although the virus does cause some diarrhea or can cause some diarrhea, the demand for toilet paper did not go up. So why was there, why was there such scarcity in toilet paper? Was it that people were hoarding the toilet paper for no good reason and we got a vicious cycle of a kind of crazy social contagion where everyone, every time you saw toilet paper, you bought it and therefore there was none on the shelves. Uh, no, what happens is it turns out that in the United States, the distribution of paper products is kind of a bifurcated economy. There is a whole set of factories and distribution channels that distributes paper products like toilet paper for home consumption and a completely different system for distributing paper products for consumption at workplaces. You know, there are those bigger rolls of toilet paper and different distributors are bought in a different way. And basically what happened is, is we were all told to stay at home. And so people were doing, were going to the bathroom at home. And so the need for home toilet paper skyrocketed and there was huge stockpiles of toilet paper at the office, which no one could access. And so that is what caused the great toilet. And it took time for the American industry to you know, retool so that they could manufacture smaller rolls and distribute them through those channels intended for home. Anyway, that's the explanation for the toilet paper shortage. 